Welcome to Aaron's Review and in today's video we have an unboxing of the Osmo Action. As you've probably seen from my previous video, I have actually had the Osmo Action before and this is actually the replacement from the distributor. It has, um, how has it been with my previous one where I, I managed to use it for two days. After two days it stopped working and then I had to go back to the authorized distributor and that took two weeks of waiting. So a frustrating two weeks uh, with me only having used it for two days while they had it for over two weeks. Okay, so with the warranty, I have managed to convince them to actually, on the day that I picked up, which was, which was this Wednesday, they then extended the Wednesday of next year. So getting me my one year's full warranty, which I should have, but it was just the frustration of waiting two weeks with nothing to use nothing to film, nothing. That was a bit frustrating. I mean, as I've shown you in my videos, I have, I do have some accessories that I do, I want to test out. Well, anyway, there, so here is the second unboxing of the Osmo Action. And for those people who've actually emailed me with the same problems of them, Osmo Action not working after two days, uh, was there any outcome or solution to rectify this? And um, actually there is not because I've actually tried everything before I returned it back to the distributor which includes resetting the machine, which did not help. I tried different memory card, again, that did not help. I then tried uh, tr connecting to the Mimo app on my phone as to upgrade the firmware. Again, that did not work because it, it could not connect or could not find it. I'm hoping that I don't have any issues with this one or else I'll be extremely angry. And I have seen people on YouTube still using the Osmo Action without any issues at all. Uh, as I mentioned before, um, I have actually purchased another Lexer 512GB of high performance U, um, V30, which is the recommended or what you need. And yes, I do know that the Osmo Action does say that it does take 256GB only, but then again, that's what most companies do. Even with my Sony WM1EZ, it does say it doesn't support 512. I'm actually using that already, and so same with the SP1000. So I'm going to make sure that it works, which I think it did on my last machine, but it did show me how many minutes I was able to record on the Osmo Action, but then again that was not working fully. So hopefully this one works. So let's get started. Uh, I am thinking of buying a glass protector for the Osmo Action, providing it really works first. Because I don't want to waste money putting on the screen protector and then finding out that it doesn't work again. And I'm hoping to use this uh, in my holidays during the summer just to show you some footage of food in another country. I won't say where yet because I'll show you where it is in the in a following YouTube video. So let's just do the unboxing of the Osmo Action again. Uh, it is a brand new box. They, they don't have obviously replacement because it's just a new product. Uh, but as I said, there's a couple of people messaged me about the same problems and there is really nothing that you can do except to send it back to them and as to get replacement, which is a hassle as I understand. And obviously if the machine doesn't work again like last time, then again I will probably have to wait possibly a week for them to give me another replacement, which I'm hoping I don't have to this time. But it is a brand new box. And not a replacement which is what I'm expecting. There you go. Nothing's been changed. Hopefully there is an upgraded firmware. As I mentioned um, in my speaking with Jim, 
this the external microphone does not work because they have not done the firmware upgrade as to allow you to do this or else I will be demonstrating it with my Rode Wireless Go which is my compact ultra vlogging camera that I'm thinking of using when I'm doing videos outside and again the Osmo action all things stuck on Uh, front LCD screen, camera, back touch screen, uh, quick switch button which switches from the front screen and the back screen so nothing has changed from there. Inside this box we have the accessories as last time which includes this. Uh, USB-C charging cable with the screw mount uh, another one and the battery which is what I need right now and inside there is the user manual which I won't open again because nothing fancy there uh, the battery is stuck onto its case as it is waterproof this actually prevent um, protects it when you plug in the battery you are able to get in a battery for another 150 Hong Kong dollars roughly I don't need this I don't need that so I'm just going to put everything else that I don't need back inside the box or put inside for now uh, I need to release the case like before which is this lever pulled up and then like that and then this lever opens which is a bit tight this time there we go and then gently push it out which is quite tight Um, I'm going to open the memory card some people message back saying it does not work with 512 gigabytes I know it states it doesn't work with 512 gigabytes the maximum is 256 but that's the reason I try to test things see if it works now I truly believe that if the Osmo action does work it should be better than the GoPro 7 Black until obviously they released the new GoPro 7 8 which should be available in September this year again which I will possibly try as to compare I think with the GoPro they would now be implementing a front camera as to compete with the Osmo action I mean for vloggers the Osmo the front camera isn't must to see what's on what you what has been filmed Uh, the 512 gigabyte Lexer is priced at around, let's see, the cheapest I've seen it was 528, but there are some shops in Hong Kong which are actually selling it for 500 Hong Kong dollars, which is very cheap and it's 512 gigabytes. And as I mentioned, if this does not work, I, my intention is to actually use this memory card for my uh, Sony WM1EZ or the SP1000 uh, at the moment I have plugged the previous one into my SP1000 so I've got 512 gigabytes of memory on that player plus the internal 256 gigabytes uh, yes it does work with both because I've tried it on both machines on my on those two players All right uh, just like before uh, the battery just goes in I do really need to charge it it needs to be pushed in as to have the water seal like so clipping sound uh, the battery uh, the memory card is slotted here and so is the USB-C charging cable I will need to charge it uh, the memory card needs to go in this way like so pushes in that's it released 
Uh, hopefully no problems this time. There should be battery. I'm just going to turn it on. Battery is turned on. And English. Oh yeah, same as last time. I need to activate my uh, DJI Me more like last time, which I showed you in my previous video. So let me get the activated first. So I have now fully um, connected my phone to the DJI Osmo Action. It was super quick since I have done the registration before so it does recognize my account and it knows that I can do this quickly. Uh, now just to clarify I am having at 4k at 60 frames per second with rock steady on. There you go, rock steady on, 4k at 60 frames per second. The SD card if I were to record with this 512 gigabytes which I'll remove the screen for you right now gives me 658 minutes of recording time uh, which is, as, you can, as I mentioned, it stays 256 gigabyte, but it actually works with 512 gigabytes. And yes, it does record, so I'm recording it now. There is like a sound. You can see that the timer is going down slowly. So this will be ideal for my travel in the summer. And press the stop. Quick switch switches to the front screen like so let me just test that see if it works double tap also works there we go double tap there is the front screen working double tap again that also works um, I do have some accessories right now uh, if I'm going to turn it off, shut it down. Now, if you want to record quickly when the machine is turned off, all you have to do is just press this record button straight away. You don't turn on the power, and it's straight away it turns on and it starts recording. Okay, so that's one thing that you can do to turn on your Osmo Action quickly. I'm going to turn that off. Some accessories that I purchased last time, which is what I want to show you, is are these things. So getting them now from the desk. I had this, which I don't think works. As I said, the firmware doesn't work. I have a car mount, which was about $39. I have a stick, which allows me to extend as far as possible. You can see it is, uh, it is quite long. To make it shorter, you just set it to the length you like and then you rotate. And then that's it locked to and rotate it again and then you can extend it as far as you like so it's like a locking mechanism which is ideal for travel uh, what I have is here is uh, actually a stand and I purchased it for an extra can't remember how much it goes on to the bottom of the sticks so that it allows you to use it as a stand with your camera placed on top like so, so that is what it looks like and I have needed, well I really don't need these karma accessories because I do have an iRoad on my car which would cause any incidents if that occurs, hopefully touch with that doesn't occur. Um, this is something that I really do need as, as this is what I'll be using to put on here like so with the camera put on I'm able to use it as a stand. And we have a car mount suction cup. And that summarizes what I purchased for the Osmo Action. Obviously, again, as I mentioned, touch wood that this thing actually works and I don't have any issues after two days. I'm gonna let it fully charge. Yeah, it did not ask me about any firmware upgrade, so I'm assuming that it's got the latest firmware. And again, as I said, I will test it with the mic, uh, USB-C microphone to see if it works. I do have two, the other one doesn't work, but maybe this slightly more expensive one might work with the Rode Wireless Go. 
Anyway, thanks for watching and do click the subscribe button and I'll see you again in the next video.